possibilities, but you know, I like the spirit. All right, we were on. Okay, so recap: we were on a train. Can't remember the place. Can't remember exactly why we were on the train. Uh, we were minding our own business when some people garbed in black came on, started stabbing people. Ninjas. We killed them, and every time we killed them, they exploded. It was glorious and painful. <laughs> then we met a another person who came from the previous cabin ahead of ours. Found out that uh, he started a fire, and the fire kind of got out of hand. Cough. And he learned it from somebody else. <laughs> and uh, we uh, killed some flaming dogs. And then after we killed those... Uh, doors closed and, uh, we heard some sizzling. That sounds about right. Alright, I don't remember doors closing, I vaguely remember sizzling. So yeah, currently when when you killed all the dogs, the door is here and here. Are you streaming? Closed. I sh think maybe, perhaps. And I didn't see the here and here. Oh wait, is it not showing? Oh, it's on the wrong level. One sec. Eh. Here and here. Yikes. <laughs> I was gonna show you. Where are you? Yasha! Oh. Nope. Okay. Can you send me a link? Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, because I can't do the roll 20 thing on this thing without it glitching like crazy. Bloop. Oh lord. The dum 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 dum. Thank you. Thank you, dear friend. So, I guess why I do this. Can I go up to this door, even though I know it's shut, and try opening it? You definitely can. Does it open? No. <laughs> <laughs> it is locked. Oh, it's pull. It is unfortunately locked. Do any of you know how to pick locks? I don't know how to pick locks, but I can charge through it. We could break doors. <laughs> Let's see. Grabs the halfling and throws him at the door. <laughs> Let me get away first. <laughs> nope. Too late. I yeeted as, him. As as the uh, as natural as it is for her to pick up Casimir, he doesn't really try resisting it. <laughs> Alright, so which door are you yeeting him at? Uh the one that she was by. This one here. Okay. Also for the purposes of the thing, everyone roll uh initiative. Yeah. Oh, what? Yuck. Let's get it out of the way, though. That's a natural one. Well, you know. But with initiative, it's a three. There you go. What do you got for everybody else? I need to bring up my character sheet. It is plus two to my initiative. Ah, six. What? 
That's a uh, good cough. <laughs> See, man, she's like... 19. Jesus. At least someone got a good initiative. I mean, it's initiative, though. So... And it can be very important who goes first. I mean, yeah, but my natural one could have been detrimental somewhere else. I mean, it could be now. <laughs> That's what my role is about to find out. Oh, man. All right, and how many of these were... Oh, I got rid of a couple, but... Do I need to do a text save to see if I avoid the halfling? Um, I forget. Are you in the direct path of the launch? I was before you said roll initiative. I was standing at the door. Then probably, yeah. Gotta remember that these people are not there with you, so they're not coordinating with you probably the best. <laughs> also, two barbarians, not necessarily the most thoughtful of people, I'd say. You also <laughs> asked if they can open the door or pick a lock, and that is the barbarian version of picking a lock. She did ask if we could pick the lock. I... I, spe I specified. Said, but that is the barbarian version of picking a lock. Yeah. <laughs> and, well, I, I did say we can't pick locks, but we can break it. And that's when Corey grabs me. Yeah, I'm also going to say that based on these uh, turn orders, that, yeah, you're probably going to have to roll because she got to go first. <laughs> With her better initiative. Um, that's right. I, I rolled a 20. 14 for a dex save. That should be plenty. Okay. I guess it all depends on what she rolls for a strength and dex to throw me. Roll low. All right, one of you. No, oh, wait, one, two, three, four. Okay. That makes about sense, too. So. Just recap. You're currently in the room, the doors are shut, and there is a faint, you know, uh, rising noise. Of sizzling. Yeah. And Quarry <laughs> now has thrown Casifer towards the wall. We've gotten a nice dodge. Um, make an attack roll. Which one of us? Uh, her. You're just a weapon. You're not doing shit. Unless you're trying to attack while you're flying through the air. And attack um, the door, which is going to require some checks in itself. Is attack a what? D20. A test? Yeah, this one will be strength. Well, as I'm flying through the air, I'm going to want my character to like, put his arms up so he's not running in head first. <laughs> uh, strength. That. Wait. 14. Sorry. I couldn't remember if that was a six or a nine. Fourteen. Hello? Sorry, I'm checking some stuff. Okay, as long as I was heard. <laughs> yeah, you heard. Yay, I heard. Did you know? That's the brightest word. What is your character's weight, Michael? My weight? Yeah. With everything I'm carrying, it's 74 pounds. Okay. And that was a 14? Yep. And she is much larger. So, Diffie, you're going to roll 4d6. Uh, where are my sixes? My one, two. Where are the other two? Okay, three. God damn it. Do I count them all? I guess. Yeah. Twelve. Sorry, my. Twelve. <laughs>
better slow down my drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Makes drinks make me not slow down. <laughs> I'm like, huh. Gosh, I thought you'd lose. Okay, so Michael, you take eight damage as you smack into the metal door. <laughs> Oh god, it's a metal door. <laughs> I, you guys never asked or checked. That would involve her caring. Yeah, that would involve a little thought, which neither of you can do. Not as and people, you guys but as characters. Acted before I could yell, stop. That's true. Again, barbarians. <laughs> what do you expect from But us? yeah, even uh <laughs> Even with your hands up, you unfortunately take a good eight points of damage as you smack into the door at full speed. <laughs> so, uh, that makes Sorry. it somebody else's turn, and he's just gonna go, This shit is getting ridiculous! There's fire on the fire! Somebody help me put the fire out so that the I fire will be okay. Ox healing. Wait, Maybe. all these fire rings are still here? Ye yep. I thought we put all the fire out last time. No. Things got worse. Ugh. We never finished putting fires out after we fought the hellhounds. I thought I said I did that. Now you cleared them going this way. But there were oh. ones behind you from when you were fighting the hellhounds. And there was one up here. Okay. That decides what I do now. But yeah, he's going to, like, try to put out this fire by, like, stamping on it and subsequently catch his foot on fire. <laughs> oh my goddamn foot! <laughs> oh, I wish this spell was a How dare you hurt your creator! <laughs> <laughs> yes. And that makes it Cassiver's turn, who is now at the wall. Yeah, I'm, I'm at it. I'm gonna stumble up to my feet, and, uh, I'm gonna swing at the door with a battle axe to get the damn door open. Alrighty, let's, uh, make those nice armor rolls, which you should be able to, as a barbarian, hit this shit. Unless I will roll very, very, but roll very low, Jesus fucking god, English! Words are hard, man. Words... Oh. Yep, that's a hit. Yeah! Now you gotta roll Yay. your damage. D10 plus. Is it six? Oh, six. D10 Let's see. Six. Oh, so I accidentally put a period in front of it. <laughs> There 11 damage. Alrighty, so minus that from... Wait, what am I targeting? No, no, I don't want to target that. Okay. Um, yep, you uh, swing and you hit it and leave a large battle axe shaped dent in the door. Uh, unfortunately, it's still standing. And even someone of your size can't get through it. Well, I'm gonna swing at it again with my second attack. Alrighty. Come on, baby, give me a crit. Not a crit. <laughs> it is not, but that's still a hit for the door. So go ahead and roll that damage. Fifteen. Very good, very good. So you leave another large uh, battle axe shaped hole in the door, but uh, it is still, you know, standing and not quite past throughable. This damn door doesn't want to fall out! You should try insulting its mother! <laughs> Your mother was a hamster! What about its father? You tell him! Random person whose name I still don't know. It's Kazafer! Okay, Kazafuck. Right! 
And that makes it. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm laughing too hard at the stupid shit. Uh, Alright. Let's put some stupid flames out with control flames. Alrighty. Which flames are we taking care of? So I can get rid of them. Um. Let's just do these for now. Okay. Gone. If I can do more, let's do more, but I don't I'm think that's what the spell allows within a turn. I don't think it is either, because it says Since five feet, right? Of control? Yeah, it's a five foot cube. Yeah, five foot cube. And then I'm a move over here, ready to get the next batch for my next turn. And I yell, how about some help with this fire? Fire scary. I'm providing emotional assistance. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? <laughs> the, half, the half ice giant just stares at you. Fine. <laughs> it's her turn anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's my turn anyway? Yeah. Man, it is your I wish turn. I had some cool ice fire, like ice giant. Like, I... um, that would be cool. Unfortunately, be uh, cool. I yeah. cannot. I get it. It's yeah. all good. Let's see. You have to go oh. about it the old-fashioned way, with Hudspa. Mm -hmm. Hudspa. <laughs> <sighs> all right, so Kiori, she sighs. She doesn't know what to really do about fire. And her halfling is not beside her to throw at it, so... <laughs> Please don't make him go unconscious again. I don't have much more in me. I mean, I can always throw you. <laughs> but you don't seem as sturdy as my little ox. And if you throw me, things won't go well. Is that a problem? <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Alright, I, I guess... I guess I'll do an investigation thing, because I don't really have a... to really, like... do something like that. Alright, I guess, um... Let's see, what's my investigation? Ooh, my investigation is a negative one. <laughs> Fun. Let me try that anyway. All right, twelve less, a little above average. Do I see anything that'll help with a fire? <laughs> you see, because you're a dollar that. <sighs> there seem to be some, uh, some small containers of water on this table right here. Alright, so someone has to know if I cannot do it to myself, but, um, alright, so Kiori, she goes towards the water and she tosses it at the fire. <laughs> if that doesn't help, <coughs> maybe she'll try just stomping at it. That'll let it out. <laughs> when all else fails, hit it. <laughs> hit it with your feet. Hey, so I saw this game in my like called Light Fingers. It's got a bit of a Dungeon Dragon style, however, it's only on Switch, so I don't know if you can play it. Unfortunately, oh, one sec. Uh, that's interesting. Go for it. Oh no, you guys fine. Um, that you should be able to put out. Uh, which fire are you throwing at? Is the Whichever question. one that Tiefling suggested, I help her with. I think she, all of it. Yeah, I was like, I think she just <laughs> meant in general all the fire, but we're just gonna. We're gonna assume, assume the one closest to her. Yeah, we'll go with that one. We'll say that you were able to dampen it down. Uh, you were not able to put it out, but it's now right, smaller. Then, can I use the rest of my movement or whatever to to just stop it? Like, like you know how a rhino does it. Yeah, sure. Let's uh, let's make it an let's make it an attack roll. Yay! 
tactical? Do I use my strength? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, a nat 20 even without my Whoa. Well, I think you successfully stomped that fire into I nothing. Good. Oh, man. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of crack in the floor. <laughs> so we're still riding the train. Stop. Well, you put out the fire then. <laughs> I'm afraid of fire. Well, then stop complaining. No. Then you shouldn't have set the damn fire. But you have to fight fire with fire. <laughs> Only you can prevent forest fires. Only you can prevent oh, yeah, forest awesome. fires. <laughs> Alright, and I guess that ends my turn unless I unless I have enough movement speed to start heading towards the next fire. Uh, that is a negative, I think, because you moved over to that fire. Or you moved over to the water, and then you moved over to the fire to stomp it out. All right, cool. That's so fine. Catharsis is, my Catharsis is going to uh, belly flop onto the fire <laughs> and attempt oh to God. smother it with his armor. And uh, at the same time, his hat is going to retreat from him while he does this and go over here. Tony, you coward! <laughs> Honestly, the duck's the smart one out of you two. And if he's not, we can have d duck for dinner. Whack! <laughs> exactly! <laughs> I agree! Let's just hope he's a fat duck. Quack. Tony says, how dare you call him fat? <laughs> he said, damn, that's a big bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's a huge. <laughs> uh, and that's, that's his turn. He does manage to put out the fire, though. <laughs> nice. But you do smell burning flesh. <laughs> I'm not healing him. I don't think anyone ever heals him. Uh, no, no, the half, the other Jewel, half yeah, Jewel did sometimes. She stopped though. <laughs> Every, everybody <laughs> stops. Why does no one love me? Oh, we love you. This Stop yelling at me, God! <laughs> Get, leave me alone. I need my personal space. God loves your suffering. God oh, wants to give me my personal space. I need five feet. <laughs> As recommended by my doctor. <laughs> it's a Casaverse turn. <laughs> Assume he's just gonna keep swinging at the door. Uh, I'm actually going to swing my axe now at the hinges on the door. Oh, that's a more specific attack. I feel like you probably gotta take that with Disadvantage. Just because okay, there's the first one. Not a bad roll. And there's the second. All right. So, um, yeah, no, you didn't hit that shit. Damn. But you did hit the door. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you want me to roll for damage on the door? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Ten damage to the door again. Doors break. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. I don't know how to give this. Anyway, uh, so you hit the door, but it bounced off. I swing again! It's like, don't break your axe now. It's <laughs> just something I should be <laughs> checking. It's like you're swinging at a metal door with be a metal battle axe. This is not going to end well. Be kind to your centipede. Said you're going I back down to a plus one battle axe now. Fucked up the edge. <laughs> Said your your centipede lost some legs, motherfucker. 
Aww. broke it. Broke one of his teeth or whatever those yeah. things are. Mandibles. Mandibles. Yeah. Yeah. Gives him characteristics. Anyway, he's just got like a scar across his eye and like a fucking belly band. <laughs> oh, I, that's 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 not gonna do anything. <laughs> no, no, it's not. No sense. But do you have to roll the other one in case you crit fail? Yeah. All Which right. I didn't. Nope, but uh, you swung this time. I assume just for the regular ass door, not the hinges. Uh, but yeah. you unfortunately bury your axe in the wall because it's uh, it's it's unhappy with swinging into the metal door currently, <laughs> and is feeling the burn, but not in a political way. All right, I'm gonna have my battle axe turned back into a centipede. All right, your centipede uh, is down five health. Yep. Slowly moving it. Oh, I think I left my my wolf as a regular wolf towards the end. I'm not sure. Yes, yes, you did. Yeah. Okay, cool. Just make. But you, sense. but we have not been moving him with you. It's fine. He usually just stays near me. I don't remember if the snake is a staff or a snake right now. I think the snake's a snake. All right. Can he back? If that's the case, he's probably coming like, with you. A free action to try to rip the door open. You just want to like. It, it, it is pretty dented. I'm gonna see if I can like strength eat it off the fucking hinges or whatnot. Sure, go for it, buddy. Yeah. Uh, roll a base check with strength modifier. Plus four strength modifier. Let's do this. Give me a crit, baby. That is not <laughs> crit. <laughs> um, asking because the dice gods are not happy with your not, asking. Not today. You need to start asking better questions. <laughs> Having said that, I think Farts. that's your turn, and you done fucked it up. Good job. A yeah. A wrong. I know you're not A A wrong, but I feel like saying that for whatever reason. Good job, A A wrong. He is now A A wrong until until he has heck. proven himself Why better. Why am I moving the circle too? Huh? Did you link him? No. Did you link them? I didn't link them, see. <laughs> but you unlinked it for me, thank you. He's like, he's like, I don't know what happened, but <laughs> it was funny. I, I need to keep this. I still need to copy this and put it in my token area, because it is useful. Yes. It is very useful. It is very useful, especially for me, who has a bunch of... Alien. Cylindrical oh, attacks. Trust me, everyone has <laughs> goddamn circle spells, and I never have the appropriate means to like put it on the thing because I one I'm lazy, and two, uh, no people don't always concentrate. Nobody asked, so he didn't do. Pretty much. Yeah. I, I only do what I'm asked. I am a lazy DM. But you are by far an awesomely entertaining one. Thank you. Thank you. Donnie of Agrees. Anyway. Uh, it is your turn. Well, Oriana's turn. And Control of flames, get rid of this one. Sweet. And I am keeping track of something else. This is two. The, oh, by the way, since the last turn, right, it's been, well, you wouldn't have noticed yet, but you'll notice in a moment. And do you want to move or do anything after that for your turn, bonus action-wise, etc.? I can't control flames for as a bonus action. I, I know, I was saying if you wanted to if do I anything could, else. But that's all I'm concerned about right now, is getting rid of the super I mean, it's not a bad idea. Especially because, as we all know, cough. Give me, give me a moment. <clears throat> Fire spreads. No. Shush. Uh. <laughs> to be fair, I'm trying. You're doing good. Oh. God damn it. The only one who's probably not doing good right now is Catharsis. But that's kind of <laughs> his job. Anyway, uh, you notice that the noise, the sizzling noise, is getting louder. Can I tell which way the sizzling noise is 
coming from. You could do a perception check for it, and I would count it as a, you know, a natural perception. So a passive perception, or I guess you whole? could check. I guess we could just use your passive. Uh, okay, my passive is keen. Yeah, yeah, you could hear it then. It should be coming from over here by the dead dogs. In a farther away one. The farther away one? Okay. All, all of them, but you can, you can hear the farther away one now, too. Okay. I don't know what else to do with them, so... For now, while I think on that, I am done. <laughs> Corey! Tis your turn. I, I'm going to think like a wood in the wild and be like, you know, if something starts to act too much, you just cut it off. <laughs> so I'm going to be like, uh, I guess you could try to find out which way is the front of the train. Am I smart enough to do all this? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like we would know which way was the front considering we could tell which way we're going. Assuming these trains right. travel forwards. Yeah, let me check on my. my they my they do. I'm just zero. Sure. My intelligence is a point. Is a negative one. <laughs> you might. <laughs> you might not even understand what a train is. I'm gonna be honest. With I don't you think here. she does. She nah. still like, does not. Now like you're the you're fact just barely is. under normal. You gotta remember, Where? ten is supposed to be normal intelligence, like day to day people. Yeah. I'm, Unfortunately, I'm like, day to day people are not very intelligent. Day to day people are dumb. Yeah. But that's why I'm just. Come on, man. Like... Day to day people used to think that eclipses caused, like, you know, uh, sterility and that sacrificing women at the stake stopped, you know, famine. I don't think we're much smarter than we were back then. Well, I'm kind of thinking that way where I'm just like, okay, maybe we just cut off the train. We could just move on to the next car. Maybe I mean I that's think. that's that's up to your character. I mean, you right. you decide how to RP your character. I'm always here to give I'm helpful gonna... hints, but I'm never gonna tell you like your character wouldn't be able to think that they're too dumb. Like that's that's not how it works. Unless she's trying to solve. Unless they're numbers. yeah, but those are like you know. What, well, I even count those, because think of all the ones where an idiot says something smart or sees something that smart people don't Not see wrong. because it's simplistic or just because, you know, they're lucky. Like, it really, I, for certain things, like, that's why the rules are nice. And that's the whole point of having the modifiers. Is if you are intelligent, you have a really good modifier, so more likely than not, you get really good intelligence well, stuff, hopefully. The fun part is, too, is if I'm wrong, we're on the back of the at the part then we fall to our deaths and that could be fun i mean hey look this isn't supposed to be a continuous adventure necessarily yeah so we'll live uh, long enough to try to make it one <laughs> i'm gonna guess try to assume if we're on the cart that we should be in and if we could just move on to another cart that was determined if i break door a or b a being towards the fire and B being towards the metal door. door. Huh? I'm gonna break this fucking door. I'm gonna fucking get it! Unless get I grab this. you and tell you otherwise. I was gonna say, how about we leave the door B for now and just take care of this fire before there's no train left for us to figure out which way to go on? I know, but who cares about that side of train? Hey, didn't we leave a lot of people on the other side of this train fire? Okay. Not my problem. My character is fairly neutral, so I guess she. Who like... started this fire? <sighs> Alright, Kiori sighs. Going against her better judgment, which is bad always, typically. <laughs> so she, I guess, is gonna go over to the next. Can. Can she make it to the fire? I uh, mean, I think so. Alright. So she's going to do the rhino move again. You should have like 40. Yeah, you should be fine. So her idea still sounds better regardless if it's right or wrong. 
Alright, uh, 17. Sure, we'll count that. And roll... For the... For the roll fire. What? Oh, yeah. Wait, that was for her fire. Right, right, so now you gotta roll the, the damage, because you're attacking the fire. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ah! Ah! Oh, goodness. That one. Oh, yeah. Mm, mm. I mean, you didn't. You did not put out the fire. I mean, it's a good, a little bit better because I have a strength five, but still. <laughs> oh, all right, right. So six. Um, not bad, but. So a six. Yeah, I will say probably with a six, you did not put out the fire. But it didn't necessarily burn you either, so. I heard every like fifth word on there, but I'm gonna assume it went bad. Yeah, probably right. didn't go well there. <laughs> Did I take on damage? No. You should be alright. All right. Okay. Yay. Alright, Catharis is going to uh, look this way, look that way, look this way, look that way. Just do something already. One, two, three, four. Like, she's looking at him, like, being so indecisive, and she's just, she's fed up with him. <laughs> he is, he is now, uh, basically sprinted over here, he's like, I say retreat from the fire! No. <laughs> <laughs> that was my first idea. This fire is lost. Whoever lit it is an idiot. And a jerk. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I can agree with that. Quack, what do Same you mean, you. Donnie? Baby Ox, have you gotten that door yet? I'm working on it. Work faster. Quack, Donnie says, are you working hard or hardly working? Huh? <laughs> well, mm. bit of both. I'm hardly working hard. Oh, God. I just cycle through everyone. There you go, it's Kazimir's turn. Uh, I'm gonna do a perception check on this hellhound. See, you know, about how big it is. See if I can do, you know, determine its rough weight-age. Uh, sure, yeah, do that. Go Would I it. be able to take, I probably wouldn't be able to take a nat 10 to figure that out. <laughs> no. He's, he's not a small dog. He probably weighs at least half as much as you, and probably more. About half as much as me? Probably more. I, I have to double check. I don't think they give weight statistics, but... Oh, no. Yeah, he weighs more than you. Oh, he does? Yeah, 120 pounds. Oh, holy fuck balls. Yeah, he's huge, dude. He's not a huge animal, but he's like... He's a big dog, dude. He's a fucking big dog. Oh, actually, no. Well, he wouldn't weigh more than you counting all of your equipment. Okay. Just, just at your base weight. But how much would a three foot seven half... That's mostly muscle. Let's see. Well, muscle weighs more than fat. Um... So the average halfling weight is 40, so you say a so heavy halfling, you you could maybe round up to 70. Okay. You know, double double your mass, but even if you doubled your mass, you'd be 80 at most. So you'd <laughs> still be 40 pounds lighter than this dog. Well, I, I have confidence in my strength, so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab the hellhound and I'm going to throw it at the door. <laughs> Okay. So I'll do my strength D twenty plus four. Yes, plus four. All right. I got this. I can throw the hellhound at the twelve. I mean, you can throw it at the door. Yeah. <laughs> I throw it at the door. Okay. Make a D twenty roll. 
<laughs> no bonuses? No bonuses. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> Here's what happens uh, as you throw the mangled corpse of the bloodied hellhound, uh, you know, towards the door. It makes a sickening, thudding, splat noise and then falls to the ground. And the hissing noise that it was making before starts going even louder than before. Huh. I give up. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can't break down the door. The door's too strong. I'm too tiny. It looks pretty fucked up. Yeah, I, I hit it a few times with bad legs, but my bad legs. He, he don't like it. Snendos don't like getting hit against the metal door. This is why I went with a regular weapon. They don't give a shit how they feel. And I don't uh, either. I mean... Yeah. Okay, maybe I do give a shit how they feel. <laughs> <laughs> and or it's now Oriana's turn. As kind of like a bonus like, reaction, I'm just gonna have him pull out his water flask and take a little drink from his water flask. <laughs> Typing goes clickety clack, clickety clack. Yeah, sorry. Now you good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, whenever uh, uses alls, you ready? You let me know. I just assume more fire clearing. Oh hey, it's my turn. Sorry. Control of flames. Yeah, fire. <laughs> Get it out. I want it gone. Axel, I may have found the perfect shirt. And I'm a move here. I would go here, but I'm scared that fire's gonna spread again. Smart, smart girl. <laughs> that fire is uh, unnatural as fuck. Anyway, Corey's turn. Okay, Corey. Corey. Kaiori. <laughs> I just make it a point to always mispronounce people's characters' names. Damn, I only hear every like third word. Okay. Hmm, I am debating. Alright, so the half sounds playing with the door. She was planning on going back there, but since she gave up on it, too. So she's gonna go to fire and rhino it out. Uh, let's see. That is what was asked of her. Okay, it's going to probably- you could sprint all the way to the door this turn? If that would be it. Damn, I can't- No, 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 not to the door, towards the fire. Which one? This one? The one towards the halfling, towards the girl who asked her to... Gotcha. This right. character is a little more helpful than my other characters. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, fair enough. Alright, you can definitely try to run and rhino st stamp that one. Yeah, I'm gonna rhino take off fire. Alright. So I'm doing my strength. I guess that is a dirty 21. All right, 21 should be pretty good. So now you can go ahead and roll damage, which is just going to be a 1d4. All right, I only heard one more, which is all right. Oh no, two is all right, and damage. 
All right, so the damage will be a 1d4. A 1d4? Four. Where are you? That is a four. Haha. -ha. Alrighty. So best you... way to represent firefighting. <laughs> it is a rough one. Trust me, I was like, hmm. Oh, this is gonna Only be interesting. Only you can prevent force. Go to fight file fire. <laughs> Keep telling him but nobody misses. Yes, yeah, borderline offensive attempts at accents. It was only one D four, right? So yeah, I got the yeah. So, uh, you were able to make it smaller, but we're not able to, like, put what? out the whole fire. Fuck. I couldn't hear anything. What? So you're able you to- out the fire. Yeah, you stamped- Did not? Did. Oh, did. Yay. But I don't know why this- Yeah, I couldn't make sure it's on. That's yeah, just tough. Oh, it's all good. Internet. Maybe if I take it off the internet, that'll help. Since that- that's the key. Yep. Wi Fi. Wi Fi. Let's see if that's better or worse. I blame <laughs> Leaf. I should never have mixed a drink. See, this is this is basically a hundred percent everyone right now. So, <laughs> when the murder hobos get stuck in the puzzle room of the dungeon, we've tried nothing and we're all out of ideas. <laughs> To be hey, fair, I'm trying to solve one idea. problem. It is true. Which was cut the damn arm off, which is the cart. But then people reminded me of other people. Damn it. And this character cares more than the other character. To be fair, that mimic is the nicest mimic ever. What? Nothing. <laughs> Mi I, I heard, to be fair, that mimic. <laughs> That's all you had to hear. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that mimic is perfect. Anyway, it should be Catharsis' turn. Mimbler is amazing. Shush. Uh, it's Catharsis' turn. And... Since he used the extra action run, he can now go to the thing, four and five. And he's gonna jump over the body of the hellhound and like body slam into the like bent door to try to bust it open. Oh god. Alright, that was not a bad roll. Now And now he rolls for minimum Fuck. damage. Well, fuck. <laughs> I rolled a really good strength check, and then my athletics check did not go well. <laughs> so, uh, you see Catharis, like, barrel head first. He makes the jump, and, uh, you know, as he, uh, like, goes towards the door, he... And this is how I'm skewing it instead of doing the regular failure. He's like, all right, I got this. And then he like, you see him just look to the left and like over here is Donnie as the helmet going <laughs> quack. He's like, Donnie. <laughs> and then his head smacks right into the wall, <laughs> leaving a dent and busting the door and knocking him out. Oh. Quack. 
So now he is there, and that door now has a catharsis shaped hole in it, basically. And that makes it Casimir's turn. Casimir is going to walk over here. And he's going to grab Catharsis and pull him out of the door. Okay. Do you want me to do a strength for that? Just in case he's like wedged in the fucking door. Yeah, give it a shot, man. Throw the strength check. I don't know why I do this shit to myself because it seems like you're gonna just let me do it. Probably, but <laughs> you know. Sixteen. Yeah, that's good enough, man. You got you got him popped out of the door. And he just hear him mumbling, oh, his fucking duck helmet. <sighs> and I guess after I pull him out, I'm just gonna kind of like toss him, like, out. Go, gonna toss him like this way. All right. <gasps> this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we were talking about. Mine. <laughs> so, so yeah, I, I toss him like this way. Probably about gonna try for about fifteen feet. Uh, I guess make another strength roll. <laughs> Twenty-one. Yeah, that should do it. All right. Granted, and then I'm gonna. I always have to remember it's like you are technically in halfling trying to throw a human. <laughs> I mean, you're a beefy halfling, but that's like a beefy 12 year old trying to. <laughs> and after I do that, I'm gonna move my rest of my five feet over here. <laughs> okay. And that ends my turn. And Donnie's gonna turn back into a duck. And that makes the Oriana stream. Control of flames. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I figured, but you never know. You might as well assume until all these flames are gone. To be fair, there's really nowhere else for the flames to spread now. They can start coming out of the thing. You mean like this? Yes, like that. Yeah. They might be doing that. They might be doing something else too. But we'll talk and about And now that. I wait. This <laughs> is this is an amazing uh it's a move, but fire is still fire. This, yeah. is, this is and why I'm the firefighting trying. brigade is not wizards. I just want it gone. Speaking, That's my turn. Speaking of Kyori, uh, you and everybody else in the room noticed that uh, now the the sound has gotten even louder and higher pitched and everyone needs to make a uh, fortitude save if you don't have anything For preventing that. Fortitude save? Whatever, con, whatever the one is in this one. Yeah, con. A what? Constitution what? save. Dave. Ah. Eleven. Jesus Christ. Alrighty, so... Where the hell's my thing? Okay. Damn it. Oh, twelve. Not horrible. No. Uh, unfortunately, anyone who got less than a 15, uh, you're going to take one point of sonic damage, and uh, you won't be able to hear as, you know, basically for one turn. You said one point? Yep. yep. It's just one point of sonic damage. I'm down to 25. Got it. Okay. Which, give me a second, that means... 
And yep, okay. That is happening now. And that's Kiori's turn or yeah, Kiori. Oh, well, well. What direction did the sonic blast come from? Uh they are coming from here and here. This seems very delayed. From the Hellhounds. Oh, from the Hellhounds. Okay. Alright, so... Fuck. We're kind of screwed. Okay, so... I'm just going to... Not like that. Head towards the halfling. If I can, pick her up and... Start heading towards the other door that... My baby ox tried to... Open. Well, so this is going to require some interaction. <laughs> yep. Um, so the first thing is whether or not the halfling allows for herself to be picked up and carried. Well, it's not the halfling, it would be the... The tiefling? Or tiefling, tiefling. yes, tiefling. that's the one she means. That's what she was, that's what I was like, oh, something's not right there. I am not allowing this, let's roll. Alright, yep, so now it's a grapple <laughs> check. <laughs> Grapple check is what? Strength? I feel like it has its own thing in fucking 5e, but I can't I, remember. I believe it's just a d20 of no modifiers unless you have grapple. Ah, I got it. You got a what? 11. 16! Leave me alone! <laughs> this fire is getting put out. happening by... Well, loud things are happening by the dog and fire do you really right, want to you want to grab here? a creature use the attack action to make a special melee attack you're able to make more oh god i had it in there this i heard weird. like three of those words i'm trying to find the grapple there we go all right But yes, you said it's no, it should be near good, the fire and the dogs. I'm trying to take care of the fire before this whole train burns down. Or we could just leave. And then the train burns down! So That's the train company's and where problem. where are we supposed to leap through? Other door. Last I checked, it was locked. Semantic. It's slightly damaged. <laughs> Quack. Is is she gonna fit through it? Like talk, like gesturing at or whatever. She, <laughs> all right, Jory is done trying to, to convince. She 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 happened. has the mind of a slim person. It's fun. <laughs> Jory cares less and less about the halfling as he keeps on arguing. Tiefling. He really doesn't care. Tiefling. Tiefling. Yes, tiefling. So. Kiori just decides, you know what? I'm not going to argue with you. Bye. <laughs> and keeps running. Twice speed, I guess, towards the door. She's just gonna try and like. You should have like 40. You should have like 40 like, fucking movement yeah, she speed. Has 40 so you should be able to get right to now. like right here. Let me move you. Yeah, All right, yeah. So She's just gonna run as close as she can to that door and she's gonna, on her next turn, ram it down, see if she can. Alright, uh, that makes it fucking team. Taurus' turn, uh, needs to make a roll. Shit. Casper, your turn. Yeah, cause he's unconscious. Cause yeah. he's a genius. Quack. I'm, uh, I'm gonna walk over here, and I'm just gonna kind of like w try to wake up Cat. Uh, try to wake up Catharsis. I'm gonna like kneel down next to his face. I'm just gonna like kind of like, slap his cheeks back and forth lightly. Once again, the uh, the barbarian's version of medical. That's like, <laughs> it just involves hitting. <laughs> um. <laughs> I guess make a roll for I don't even know what the, you would make a roll for there. Uh, what kind of roll? Just a d20? 
Uh, medicine roll, I guess. Since you... Medicine? Yep. Oh, I mean. God. Hey, well, I got a plus zero, so it's 1d20. Alrighty. A oh. 10. Well, uh... Didn't hurt him. <laughs> Your turn, Oriana. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Control freaking flames. Yeah! <laughs> we should macro that. <sighs> and now, can, can I actually... Can I do an investigation check on the dogs since I'm right here? Or is that yeah, sure. not I mean, allowed with, you know? Oh, you, you can do that. I think you can. I can't remember what their rules are with exchange. I mean, it's your call. You're the DM, so. My rolling investigation. Uh, no, you probably wouldn't be able to, from the thing. I was just double checking. What was that you stuff. cut out? Sorry. Uh, no, you probably wouldn't be able to. Unfortunately. Oh, okay. At least this turn. But the fire didn't spread again. Yeah. Cure. That's my, con my, my main concern. Keeping the fire at bay. Did I hear Kiori? Yeah. Alright, she's gonna continue her merry way towards bashing the door open. Well, you should definitely be able to get over there. Uh, now what are you going to do? Hmm? You're going to bash All the right. door now. Uh, 17. For my strength test. And are you just running into it? Yeah, I just run and try to bash the door. Okay. The 17. Kind of like a shoulder bash. Yep. Sorry, I was double checking the stuff. Uh, and what did you roll? Seventeen. Yeah, she rolled seventeen. Okay, so what you're gonna do is roll a one d four plus your strength modifier. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I can only hear like. He he is running out quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so it's not just me. No. It's cutting out, it is. Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it! <laughs> Which Sounds is, like you need a new microphone, buddy. Uh, very much doubt it, because I have recordings and they're all clear and crisp, man. I don't know what to tell you. Like, I literally have the videos of the recordings you can watch. I literally have, that's all I heard. Yeah, <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I have videos of these recordings. Where all my audio is crisp clear, it's actually so loud that I keep having to turn you guys up and post. Uh, it, it could just be a Discord issue. Yeah. Yeah, let me see if leaving call and coming back fixes it. You also could try, um, <coughs> resetting. Because sometimes on Discord you have to go to settings. Yeah, because uh, my mic is, uh, 
I mean, even on the stream, I'll double check it real quick, but. It's most uh, likely just Discord. I mean, even I was on the say, Yeah, no, it's. Right it. Yeah, it, it's absolutely Discord. That's why I always say it's like, it's. I'm almost 100% sure it's not my $200 mic, but, you know. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you know, and my, my $400 audio input. I'm pretty sure that those both work pretty good. <laughs> but I could be wrong, but I was right. It's Discord. Well, you're um, perfectly fine now. So. <laughs> yeah. Definitely heard that part. Remember, Axel, if you ever have anything important to say while we're talking, you do have the option to use the tilde button for priority speaking. Oh, right. That's always great. Well, it doesn't work if Discord doesn't hear me. <laughs> it well, doesn't help if Discord's not listening. Like I said, it's uh, you could hear it before, but I record all these episodes, so like I go back and listen to every episode. And uh most of the time I have to turn you guys up because I don't have you guys loud enough. Yeah, I I just figured I would remind you because I've noticed that you haven't really been using it. Uh I usually don't, but once again, I couldn't even if I was using it, you wouldn't have been able to tell because Discord wasn't listening to me. Well, it's listening now, motherfucker. Well. All right, I really have to pee, so let's get this. <laughs> let's get my turn going. I had a 17 to bash through the wall. So it's D4 plus your strength modifier. D4, where's my four? It's the pointy one. Yes, 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 yes. Two plus my strength, seven. Alrighty, and uh, with that last hit, finally the door falls over. It literally, like, does the movie thing where you just, like, hit it and then nothing happens for a second and then it just goes, dunk. Yay. Casifer is gonna see this and just kind of be like, quack. I could have just thrown you again, but that just seems like you needed a break. Speaking of break, uh... Meanwhile, uh, Casifer is looking very battered and bruised right now. Yeah. S speaking of... <laughs> and I almost forgot about this, but we'll just say that it happens at this point, because why not? Uh, Casifer, Gory, uh, Catharis, Donnie, anybody... Here, let me get the circle. Yay, circles. I like my new circle. Yay for Lise. For suggesting such circles. Indeed. Anybody in that circle needs to make a reflex save. Fuck oh dear. Fuck. Is this something I'd be able to see? Reflex is what? Are you There's looking in that yes. direction currently? I mean, he was able to. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Gory, take down the door. Then yes. Alright. So as long as you are looking in that direction, then you can see it. Alright. Oh. I, mean, I, I have danger sense, so I get advantage on the deck save. Wait, you have danger sense? Yeah. Barbarians have it as a natural trait, but yeah. it's it's something you have to be able to see. Well, I rolled a three, plus my what? Plus one to dexterity. So I rolled a four. I don't know if I have a danger sense, but I guess I do. It'd be under features. Oh. Oh, I'm just using an image. Ah. Uh, because every single time I tried to do the roll 20 on these fucking Apple product stuff, it just keeps on Fuck. acting up. It's because they're not queued for, for, you know, those. Yeah. For devices, like mobile devices. For well, sure. no, you can do them on phones. It's not queued for uh, Apple products. I mean, I could see through it, but every single time I switch over from like uh discord to to the sheets or from oh Twitch that might yeah that might be like, an issue yeah that yeah, might be it an kept issue on being like okay 
starting over. Let's not be there. Yeah, that's just an issue of reloading the page. That actually would do that if you're on PC and you reload the page. That happens to me all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So, not having my computer really makes it more Yeah. Difficult. Yeah, sorry. I thought you meant the script wasn't loading. No, it's okay. No, it's just it's just my Apple phone and iPad that just acting like assholes. It happens. Yep. That is going. Anyway, you know, uh, <laughs> anybody in that thing who didn't beat a 15? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you can choose to take the medium or you can choose to take the full, the roll. Yeah. Sorry. It. It, it doesn't even fucking matter to me. I'm at two fucking health. <laughs> yeah. No, you you down, boy. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, Donnie, you down too, boy. <laughs> Donnie rolled a one. Catharis surprisingly rolled a nineteen, and then you know couldn't use it because he's unconscious. <laughs> the problem is with me is is that I have twenty five health, but I forget how bad the damage usually is. It's pretty big. Yeah, if it's pretty big. Fuck it, I'm just gonna take the roll. See how bad it is. It's usually worse. The roll is like worse ninety percent of the time. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. I'll take unless it. unless you happen to roll all ones, Axel. I'd have like I don't roll those on that. How about that? I can't roll <laughs> shit when I'm trying to swing at you guys with a monster or something, but God forbid I try to hit you with anything else. <laughs> like charisma, haha. -ha. Um, but if you're down to take the full roll it is uh 18 oh she's she's at seven nine better than probably what i would have gotten and the body is now gone you said what 18 yep yeah donnie is on fire i'm i'm on the ground but not on fire. Yay! So we might have duck for dinner. Oh, wait, yeah. Quack! <laughs> <laughs> and like when he does that, it's like a comic or a cartoon or whatever when they like spit out black smoke or whatever. Just. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, those two are down. Make a roll, my friend. Saving roll. Oh, shit. Alright. 1d20. Come on. Come on. Huh. Fuck. Yeah, that's that's not the... No. Oriana. Sup. More, uh, more flame stuff? Uh, I actually have to think now. <laughs> not my problem. Multiple people are unconscious. Yeah. And one of them is not a total dumbass. Well. <laughs> kind of. Alright. While you guys figure that out, I am going to pee. Because okay. I've been waiting. Fair. Alright. Once I figure out how to meet this. Um, who all's unconscious at this point? Well, let me break out the indicators. Catharis and Halfling Barbarian? Mm, yeah, and Donnie, but, you know, let's be honest, no one cares. Crap. Yeah. Also, yeah. Okay. We're gonna move to here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna first level healing word the barbarian. Okay. Should be in range, so you're good. It's like 60 feet, I believe. 
for 80? It is 60 feet. That's why I moved the 10 feet. Okay. <laughs> and... That is six points. Very nice. Yay! You're conscious again, buddy. And then... that That's a bonus action! So I can control flames! <laughs> you can! And that's why I was asking earlier if you had any other spells you wanted to use on people. Because some of them are bonus actions. And some of them I would even... I don't know if the ones that could maybe fight fire are bonus actions, but they might be. I haven't checked. Control Flame is the only one that, that, I, that I have. That, and it just that one specifically different. fights fire, but, you know, uh, what's it? If I remember correctly, you have Ray of Frost, which I does not specifically fight fire, but through the creative use of D&D, &D, that's the whole point, is to do dumb things with fun spells. And that, you know, kind of makes sense. Uh, what else did we have? Yeah, but I think that's about I it. have to roll an attack. Well, I mean, yeah, but, you know, <laughs> you're attacking a fire. Uh, that one is the pretty control... much the one, though. I don't think you, you have. Flames. But there are there are other ones that could theoretically help. Just not Theoretically, those Wait, but that I have prepared? One? No. Oh, my goodness. Y'all are using all of my spells. <laughs> Huh. I have one I, on each level. Bet. I told you we should. It's an it's an action as well, but a druid craft could technically instantly light or snuff out a candle, a torch, or a small campfire. Yeah, that's still a cantrip. It is. I just thought it was interesting that there are, there are spells. They're just all under the same cantrip area. Yeah. <laughs> they really wanted you to be able to deal with fire. Like really. Okay. Tis my turn. Okay. I have nothing that can heal multiple people at once. I don't think they have much of that. There's like a couple spells to do. There's that, a but... couple, but they're mostly under like clerics who are supposed to be healed by. Yeah, off. and even then, I think they're. They might have one at this level, but you wouldn't have a bunch at level six, I don't think. No. Having said that, I mean, you know, say la vie. Did more fire spread, or did you just not no? Take it's actually care good. The... Nope, it didn't. It didn't spread. You've been quelling it, and so it's contained to an area where it's already on fire. Actually. Instead of... Did you take away my control of flames that I already did for this turn? Um... I don't think so. Okay, get, put out the flames on Donnie. Yay! Donnie is so happy. I mean, he's <laughs> unconscious, but he's really... Oh god, he's gone. <laughs> he's dead! We've got damn it, killed Donnie! I'll keep him from burning, at least. That's very uh, neighborly of you. Donnie appreciates... Every bit of that magic. But he's not a golden crispy brown. <laughs> he's not finished he's yet. He's not there yet. Uh, but yeah, Donnie is no longer on fire. And though he is not conscious, he is extremely happy about that. Because that's Donnie. That's what he does. Having said that, uh, I believe that's Kyori's turn. All right, maybe opening this wasn't. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll go and look. I opened the door, right? Yeah. All right, I guess I'll peek out and see the damage and why it blew up on me. Fuck so much shit. Ah, okay. That shit twenty. D20. Yeah, D20. I lost it. Oh no. That's like your most important dice. Right? Alright, luckily I have another D20 here somewhere. It's always good to have multiples. Especially when the dice are being bad and misbehaving. 
Yeah, I only have two. So if one misbehaves and the other one does two, then I'm. Sorry, it... if you have two, that's all you need because all your dice will eventually misbehave. <laughs> Trust well... that from a guy who has two, two to twenty sets. <laughs> <laughs> see shit what's where's my image i think i have a shit and In... investigation is negative one okay yay i got a five for my investigation skills a five yeah yeah and you were you were trying to to investigate the next cart, right, or this damage? Yeah, I was trying to investigate the area to see if it was smart to the next cart. If it was what to the next cart? If it was safe to go to the next. Cart. Yes, so it does go to the next cart. It's got a what little. What does it say? <laughs> uh, the next cart says sleeper car. On the uh, overhanging. Like, mind you, I rolled a five, so the cart sounds good to me right about now. <laughs> I'm assuming there's another door. Uh, yes. All right. But so it's not closed. It's just a doorway. All right. So I'll open it. Sure. Alrighty, and that will open up the new doorway. Yay! Yay! Unfortunately, I didn't set up for it to keep going. It would be annoying to make a map that long, so I went down. Down is fine. Down to the left. That's where the next part of the train is. Cool. Yay, more things to kill. And yeah. That's the next part of the train. I guess it could be. And are we still moving from left to right just to make yes. sure I'm yes. okay? Oh wait, that was another cart. Okay, never mind. We don't know what's in the cart yet. All right, so I walk in. Alrighty. Give me just a moment. Because I think I'm on the wrong layer. Oh wait, before I walk in, I can't see where I am. I might grab the half. -life. Might be a good idea. He's pretty injured, I'd say, probably. Alright, I'll can I grab the halfling my shoulder and start hitting the cart? I think that's a fair thing. Should be within your scope of uh abilities. Yay. Because you are a Goliath. So Huzzah. Yeah. And so he, oh, well, I guess you really don't have to go because he's conscious, but, I mean, you can carry him, and I don't think he'll I'll resist. I'll do it anyways, yeah, I, figured, I can. I figured that's what you'd <laughs> say. Oop. I don't think he... mine. Nah, he's cool. <laughs> ah, I'm gone! <laughs> Said, what can I say? She wanted to pick you up, bruh. <laughs> All right. This seems less on fire. So before I stop, I'm gonna yell at the other cart. This fire, this one seems less on fire. Should I just cut this cart off? Weird tiefling girl. My name is Zoriana. Well, I'm gonna cut this part off. Like, no! It's like a bad leg that needs to get cut off, man. No, we can salvage this! Or... Or... No, <laughs> I love that shit, it's so funny. I like my plan better. Yours takes too long. That's because no one's helping me! It takes long. You're both right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I said, she'd be done if someone was helping her, but it, it takes yeah. forever. Anyway. I... Is that uh, your turn? 
so I cut heart now. <laughs> uh, so, you, so you want to cut the cart off, huh? I want to, but I'm looking at the castle. Cause I, I'm a little more considerate than that. But like, you can come join us in the cart that seems like you could sleep in. Or. <laughs> or die. Eventually, yes. But. Or. No. no <laughs> or. <laughs> <laughs> what and are these oars? under control. And then? And then? And then we can move on. Or. Or. No or. Uh, it's so funny. This is why I love these kind of situations. This is why I did this. There's I'm more dying. than one way to split the party. All right, if your fire comes closer, I'm going to cut you off. <laughs> I don't Maybe think it's you going to come die. closer. Regardless, it's going to get solved. I'm just like, it's a, I'm solving this problem. I'm just letting you know. That's exactly what's happening. All right, so I lay my halfling down to nap one. And I guess I'll end my turn because I don't know if I could also cut the thing after all that moving. Uh, no, you, you, you would not be able cool. to. Cool, alright, so I'll leave my halfling down so he can rest. Regain okay. his strength. He's all tuckered out. Yeah. My poor baby ox. <laughs> and I wait for the next turn to cut the cart. <laughs> awful, awful. Um. I have an idea for this, but... We're gonna see how it goes. For While sure. I go find my other D20. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that would make it Catharsis' turn, and uh, holy shit, he finally got one. Okay. So he's not dead yet. I Ooh. am not yet dead. I can ask I can sing. I am not yet dead. I can do the high thing. And it's Casper's turn. Yay! Dirty halfling Asmisk. I hurt. I hurt a lot. I wonder and why. I'm tired. I wonder why. I'm I'm gonna do a very uh Casaver thing right now. He's gonna kinda like crawl over to here. He's gonna reach into his back. And he's gonna pull out his bedroll and crawl in it. Alright, that sounds like a good idea. I like how nobody has addressed the... <laughs> the thing I put on the <laughs> thing. Yep, nope, I ain't fucking with that. Screw that shit. <laughs> he's like, I'm a, I'm 100% too dead for this bullshit. <laughs> I've oh, been God. dead. Is that what I think it is? That's yes, what I think is. it is. <laughs> Too bad that Oriana actually doesn't know about it. Yeah, it's in another room. To be fair, they haven't paid attention to it either. I mean, from where I was, I couldn't see it anyways. Yeah, it's true. So, yeah, he's, he's kind of in his bedroll. Yeah, oh, that's not what I'm allowed to see. It's like, I can see what I'm allowed to see. Because uh, I'm not letting it. Yeah, I found my D20 curled up. Wait, how come when I open my blanket, shuck it, it didn't come out, but I lay back down and it appears. Welcome Weird. to my life. <laughs> Literally my everyday problem. It was there all along. It was there the whole time. Damn you. <laughs> I was turkey all along. <laughs> But I'm a turkey. <laughs> no, you're a duck. Quack. <laughs> Shut up, Donnie. I refuse to be a fowl. So what do I not see? Are you not seeing it? I see whatever uh, you're showing. Oh, you should see it now. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.